Hello, this is Arnold from Valoy. Uh, today I'm going to show you quickly how uh, you can compensate for vignetting on the EZ35. Um, you will find that some le combinations of lenses and cameras cause a little bit of vignetting on the EZ35 and we wanted to show you how you can easily fix that in Lightroom or in Film Lab app. Um, so first of all, uh, on the camera, I've just got it set up focused um, on a piece of neg on a negative. Uh, make sure it has the same settings you would use for scanning normally. So I've got it up on aperture 7.1 for this lens uh, and the light source where I would want it. I focused the negative, um, but before we go any further, I'm uh, going to take pull out the negative and just take a completely blank shot. Uh, the camera is on aperture priority, so the exposure should change to create a grey picture. I'm going to take the picture and then I'm going to reinsert the negative and start scanning. So you want to do this at the start of uh, your roll. We'll go from there and we can scan our pictures. Uh, from here we're going to import them into Lightroom in this case and I'll show you how to apply the what they call flat field correction or vignetting correction automatically in Lightroom. Um, so how we've got the pictures imported uh, I've set up this a little bit ahead of time so to show you the difference uh, this is what a picture might look like uh, without the vignetting correction and this is what it should look like after the automatic vignetting correction. Uh, we can see that we have the grey picture first, it's important that it's first or last, um, and then we have our uh, scans after that. So I'm going to select our uh, grey picture and by holding command or control I'm also selecting the scan that I want to correct. You can select several if you want. I'm in the library module and I'm going to go to library and then this flat field correction option. Uh, the settings should look, look like this. Um, make sure you don't delete the originals, it's nice to have them, uh, and don't embed the raw file, you just get very, really large files. This is going to create a DNG, a digital negative file, and we can see that the file type down here on the file uh, has changed. So we've now got a corrected file. From here we can just go ahead and convert it like we usually would. Uh, we use Negative Lab Pro primarily, and I'm just going to convert it quickly for you. And as you can see, it doesn't have the blue kind of color cast vignetting that you see on the uncorrected image. So that's all. If you need any help, don't uh, hesitate to reach out to us on Instagram or on email. Um, and do keep in mind that this also does work on a Film Lab app and also in Photoshop and other similar softwares. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.